Welcome to this week's vlog. It's my last week before I have to head back. So uh, I've crammed a lot into a week and seems to have culminated in basically a pile of crap. Stay tuned. Wait. Le petit table. Et this little table is kind of cute. We're back at the Brocante because I'm dropping off a bed that I bought that was too small. And um, so and I'm also kind of liking this table. It's uh, 250 euros. I don't know if I need that. I think I might get that too. I like this portrait. Very subtle. Um, these armoires are great and they're hangable, which is unusual actually. <clears throat> but they're a little expensive. This one's 480, 480 euros. Si un po' fedita, eh? Oui. Ça n'a pas été nettoyé ni rien, ça sort de la maison, eh? Ça, celle-là, là-bas. Okay. They're all in the same. They're all from the same house. Un petit buffet. Oh, wow. Look at these. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> He just said a small buffet. <laughs> There's two of them. Wow. They're really nice. Oh. They're beautiful. And they match. Ah, oh, so many pretty tables. I like the drawers. And this one's 230 euros. Ooh. Oui, j'aime ça. Oh, oui. Oh, wow. C'est un bureau? Non. Bonjour, monsieur. Wow, this is really great. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Attendez, il y a... Oh, wow. Petite, euh... Oh, that's really lovely. Bonjour. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I might have to have that. That's pretty great. I love that. <laughs> oh, I kind of like this light lamp as well. Yeah, that's a pretty good price, mm -hmm. wouldn't you say? Uh, how much is it? Um, 230. I think I'll get that one too. Ooh, and a nice chair. Does that say 80 or 40? 80. 80. 80. Kind of like that chair. Just, I need chairs for all the bedrooms, you mm -hmm. know. That would be a good yeah. bedroom chair. This would be a good thing in a bedroom. Mm -hmm. I need lots of sort of things like that just to put play, put really? things on you know the uh -huh. we're going to Chateau La Douce to pick up uh, the three beds that I bought from Diane oh look at this little this little guy this is kind of cute mm -hmm. that would look really pretty in a little bedroom hmm hmm I still love this chair. <clears throat> it's been here a long time too. Le prix pour le chaise? 380. Oh. Mm. Mm. It would be good in a bedroom. It's expensive because he, he rests on it every day. Ah, I see. You don't want to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we, yes, sir. We always have to go to the other building. It's a very important. <laughs> This is the bed that we're that we're dropping off because it was uh, too small. Oui, peut-être la chaise. I kind of like that 
table back there with the marble. Hmm. But I think I like the one with the gray marble better. Okay, more armors. This is a lovely dresser. Okay. All right. <laughs> How about an old toilet, everybody? This would have been a toilet. Voila. <laughs> Uh, this would also be useful in a bedroom, but eh, it's not quite my style. Not quite my style. Okay. Oh, we. Oui. Le quoi? Le ping en gris. Le... Oh, oui, oui. Oui. Si vous voulez le voir. Oui. I love coming back here. This is where this is where <laughs> antiques come to die. Dégage, dégage. Il va sauter. Il est bien. Il va sauter sur les gens. Oh wow! Another one. Ça c'est le pièce pour le lit qui a cassé. Là, il y a deux chevilles. Ah oui. Mm. Je pense qu'ils uh, sont trop, trop grands. Mm. C'est Non. Mm. C'est <coughs> trop grand. Oui, oui. Les mm. chambres de château. Quoi. Mm. Nice. This is a desk. C'est un bureau. Oui, oui. Mm. Oh, wow. Look at all the drawers and things. That's very cool. Yeah, it's very cool. Hmm. Wow. Huh. Et c'est sympa, ça, comme... Euh... Oui. Ça vient d'où, ça quelle, euh, quelle région Moi, je ne sais pas. Je sais pas, les gens, ils venaient de la Côte d'Azur. Ah. Ok, we better go. Huh? Hop, hop, hop. Ah. T'as pas le droit, ça, hein Dégage <rire> <rire> Oui. Ok. Ok. We're at a, a new place that I haven't seen before. It's like a second-hand store, basically. So, essentially a big warehouse with lots of stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. It's yours. Yeah, it's yours. yeah, that's a better price. Yeah. <laughs> Harder to find what you want, but yeah, you find it. Yeah, it's true. Wow. <laughs> That's quite a paint job. This was five euros for the glass bowl. Oh, we just sell a bowl or a fruit bowl. Hmm, I get that. I might get that. <laughs> Lots of books. Lots of books.
<laughs> my own barber shop. I could do uh, hair. I could do people's hair. Massage. Massage. Uh, massage. There we go. I need it right now. <laughs> Somebody needs to give me a massage. Go <laughs> So, you know, like oh, yeah. 25 euros. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Oh, it's already excel, but... Uh... Oh. But look, there's single ones. Yeah. We should measure the bed we just bought. See if one of these would fit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. 80 euros for the armoire. Yeah. open it. And hold the bowl at the same time. Hmm. Well, this one is nice, but it's a little bit. Uh, mm. I prefer if it's nice, but. Uh, oh. Kind of cool. Yeah. Well, that's not bad. Oh, yeah, it's missing the. Uh, 50% off. Or 20, <laughs> so it was only euro. it was only 20, 20 euros. That's pretty good. Can uh, does the drawer still open? No one does. <laughs> it's a little weird. Mm -hmm. You have to repair it a bit. It's here. Yeah. Yeah. Here has a wood, but uh, it's inside just to repair, uh, to make the. Yeah. It's not so. Can be so bad. It's nice. So bad. I like the marble on the top. Yeah. For twenty euros. Twenty euros. All right. Have to, it's a little wobbly. Are the legs okay? It's missing a leg. Uh, it's missing this a foot. Part. I think this one was somewhere. But you can make new foot. Yeah, yeah it's, it's starting to sound like a lot of work. Yeah, sure. I don't know. It's when you have time, if you want. Yeah, the problem is I just don't have time to be repairing <laughs> stuff right, right now. Sure. I just need it to work. Yeah. sunny and it's the only one up here on the top floor that has a uh, ensuite so that's gonna be a nice thing all right Tomas is on a roll on a roll squeaky floors Very squeaky floors up here here we have another nice bedroom, also very with the skylight, and the armoire. Mm -hmm. um, I guess the bed will go about here. And yeah, it'll be pretty, be pretty, pretty, pretty. Maybe paint these. I don't know. These are. These are just plastic and kind of fake wood. So they kind of look dingy right now. Maybe I'll paint them. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. And then up here. Oh. All right. So we've got what was the other room? It's now Colibri. So this is a bedroom. Now it just has a bed. It's got two windows. It's really pretty. Um, so I need a little more, a little more furniture, to say the least. But I could probably fit a nice armoire or dresser or something right here on this wall. Now we have. The Chouette room, which is super cute. Um, 
this is the room where we had uh, some of the roof leaked, so it's all been, all the roof and the wall has been repaired now. This is the Renard room. So still need to get a bed in here. I just returned the bed to the Dubois since it was not the right size. And I'd already bought the mattress and the platform for it. So that's another cute room. And then this is the Lapin room. Lapin. Uh, I think this is gonna have ultimately two beds in it. So there'll be a bed here and then a bed here. So I'm just not quite sure how I'm gonna work it. But um, this might take a bit of playing around with. So, um, but it's really pretty too. It's got two lovely uh, windows. And then the last room is the Payon room, the Peacock room. <laughs> I'd have to change the wall color. I could potentially put two beds here as well, one on this wall, and then maybe a single here. The only problem is then uh, the single backs up against the radiator. I don't know how bad that would be. Um, we've got a really, a really armoire, which I think I'm going to get rid of. Uh, so yeah, this is also a really cool room. So, then we've got the three little bathrooms for these three bedrooms. So, that's is the top floor. We've got these little windows, which we think were the exterior windows at one, at one point. So that would have been the exterior of the old house here. There's, there's two of them. So those are kind of cool. So that's where we're at. Tomorrow is on a roll. Pulling up four. <laughs> See where he's at. Oh, it's all well installed. Ah, nice boys. Right. <laughs> uh oh. Staples again? Put it, don't. Oh, they put it under the wall? Under the wall. Oh, no. That's too bad. For me, it was easy. For you, maybe not so easy. <laughs> Put the wood um, filler. Filler. Yeah. And uh, yeah. that's it. And then varnish. Yeah, maybe just uh, take off the plaster, directly put the wood filler. Yeah. And sand it after. Yeah. Okay. I sand it just one time. Okay. Oops, they stopped. All right. Oh, wow, look. So that. Uh, hopefully that's not asbestos tile. Do you think? The what? Asbestos. Asbestos. Uh, Stop. I want more. 
Um, create some more. You create some more. I do. I'm, I'm <laughs> teaching you new English. Um, I'm sure you know it's uh, it's bad for the inhaling. Uh, I'm out. Okay. No, no, no it's not that yeah. because it's plastic. Okay. It's just linoleum. It's linoleum. Okay. No, no. I just don't trust we, anything from that era. <laughs> we never use amiot on the, the, the floor. On the, wow, on the floor, just. that's a lot of water damage. Yeah. I'm thinking that shower leaves. But it's okay. Yeah, but we so should we, check the shower, hey? But I said it was before the shower, before this shower. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's too hot. Mm, maybe. But, uh, Except for the it's great sure, way the shower is. It's sure, yeah, that for sure the shower, nobody can use the shower for the moment. Because here, look. You have nothing here. Oh, wow, well, yeah. So when everything goes down. Yeah, okay. Well, we need that fixed because yeah. this will be the shower yeah. for me, and, uh, Nancy, and the yoga teacher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. And here. Using this one for the moment? Uh, I'm not, but no. uh, well, Sorry. this is really just a temporary solution until someday when I can re turn these bathrooms all into another big bedroom and this will be my ensuite and yeah. all that. So, cool. Mm -mm. It's very fun. And upstairs. It's all done. It's all done, but wow. yes. that was fast. All right, here's all my brocant goods. How fun. So yeah, a couple little desks. I don't remember you bought this one. Yeah, that's the cool one. That I still the, remember. Yeah, the yeah. It has the shelves. I love that. I thought I might put that in uh, the Ed 12 room, Carter's room maybe. Although Carter's room has the uh, has a desk in it already. But that one's just so fancy. Maybe I'll put the desk in another room. Okay, let's go see the third floor. Nice job on the wall. <laughs> Filling all the holes. This one in particular, you know, that was a big hole. All right. So these look good. Oh, wow. Ooh, it's so dinky. Yeah, it's good. Uh, it's bad. Yeah, stuff, yeah, stuff them up. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, this one is. This one's almost been okay. refinished. Yes. It's crazy. Wow. Oh, that's gonna be so nice. Because it wasn't a uh, bathroom before, I think, so that was like a new room or something. Huh, maybe, yeah. Could be. So you just see here there's some water and it has these showers, so. Right. The problem is it's really it's hard because. Yeah, no, it's through maybe here. Sometimes it's just the water goes under the door. Yeah, exactly. So, but after we we seal, yeah, should be right. Okay. And I'm gonna have to seal it really well. Yeah. Many times. Many times. And then buy yeah. some uh, twenty liters sealing stuff yeah. and, <laughs> and make it. Yeah. Exactly. And take the all the wood, drink everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Yep. And did you do the other bathrooms too? No, no, no. Oh, okay. This one I show you. Oh, I see. So Fire, maybe plywood. put mm -hmm. some false wood PVC. Okay. Clips it. Okay. Yeah, that would be good. PVC on, on it's the. A, it's easy, right? Yeah, and uh, on this kind of uh, room with water, everything, it's okay because yeah, uh, it's perfect. Water. Okay, and let's do that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's just the three. Yeah. Right. Okay. I didn't check on, but I think it's. It's the same. It's. Uh, I would think so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, if we don't get to these rooms by the time the retreat comes, I think no. these are livable for yeah. another year. No, it really doesn't. Okay, so we've discovered that part of the reason these floors are so squeaky is that uh, they've drilled holes in them and shoved in uh, blobs of, <laughs> of expa expanding foam, and it just doesn't work. So they've just not installed these floors very well. And uh, yeah, that's super unfortunate because there's no real way of fixing that without taking all the floors off. That's gonna be an ugly job. Uh, no. I see it in your eyes Yeah, I can read the signs You need to get away It's time we make a change Oh, you know you'll always have me Baby, I will always stay with you So put your trust in me We'll work it out, you'll see If we get in a car and drive someplace far Yeah, we could go for a ride The two of us, we don't have to stop sad that I have to leave tomorrow <laughs> even for a short period of time it's just hard to leave I just uh, it's hard when you have a garden you just want to see what everything is coming up when you're seeing it for the first time these roses smell incredible um, incredible oh my gosh they remind me of my grandmother's roses my grandmother was a big rose gardener she had a huge rose garden and used to make potpourri with all of the rose petals so i have very fond memories of the smell and then i've got a lilac back here it also smells divine so nice chloe approves so tomorrow I head to Toulouse for the night and then the next morning I fly to New York where I have my interview on Thursday, I guess. And then I fly back to Seattle and await my passport to come back. And then uh, I'm unclear about when that might be. And I'm a little bit unclear about whether I should buy the ticket ahead of the appointment with the consulate. So, yeah, um, it's sort of of two minds of that. It sounds like they want to see a ticket. They want to see your airline's tickets, but I don't want to buy the ticket if I'm going to wind up having to change it. So I just don't know quite what to do. I guess I buy a ticket that's changeable. So I might do that today just to have that in hand. So, um, and then that just gives me a definitive date as to when I'm coming back. The plan for me right now is to come back on the 15th of June. So in the meantime, this place will be a hive of activity. Um, Tama and I went through a uh, a long list for him to do while I'm gone. <laughs> and uh, the painters will be here and uh, various other people will be coming and going. So I think the place will be in good stead. 
And I now have, I'm now armed with my, my doorbell camera, my Wook door, doorbell camera. So um, that's been quite efficient, actually, surprising that uh, I got a notification anytime anybody walks by it. So it's kind of cool. Anyhow, um, this is where I'm at. The roses are full bloom at this point. Got some here, and these ones in the courtyard are incredible, along with the sage and the rosemary. I've even got Sheila, my stepmother, planted cilantro for me. So I've got some cilantro happening, and I've got the sage, which is amazing. The rosemary is out of control, and the roses are incredible. That is a picture right there. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, that's where we're at, I've cleaned out out here, I'm afraid to all those people who were telling me about the nettles that I didn't get around to making tea with them, partly because the, uh, the gardener beat me to them, <laughs> he decimated them all before I was able to uh, rescue any and make more out of tea, although I did saute some, um, though I can't say I love them. <laughs> There we go. Oh, and look who's back. Look who's back with the ball. She is just like, it's like nothing happened. And I'm very confused about it. So hopefully we'll have no problems flying. And uh, yeah, just uh, such a strange mystery. So I don't, I don't know. I've got an appointment with her vet in Seattle. So when we get back, so I'll take her in and maybe he'll have some answers i have no idea but anyhow uh this is probably one of my last missives um for a few weeks until i get back but oh the other thing i want to tell everybody and maybe i'll show some of the pictures but yesterday i went to the archives and uh learned a few things so actually maybe i'll do a whole separate a whole separate piece just on the what I learned at the archives because it's it's a little bit interesting I didn't get I was hoping for pictures and plans and all kinds of stuff but there is nothing other than uh, records of of ownership through the years and uh, the furthest we could go back was 1811 <laughs> um, uh oh down it goes uh, so yeah so um, but we've got, I've got uh, a path of ownership from 1811. Uh, I learned that in 1876, I think, is when the addition, this part of the house, got put on. It's also when the caretaker's cottage was, was added. Um, and I suspect also the outhouse um, was added at that time as well. So in 1876... Um, it was uh, a family called Maraud. I have been spelling it wrong. I thought it was Malin, M-A-L-E-N, but it's actually M-A-U-R-O-U-D, I think. Maybe two R's. Anyway, so that's really the M, is the Maraud, Maraud. Um, and, uh, yeah. And so he's the one who bought it in seven, or 1870. I think he bought it in 75 and then did the renovations in like 1876. So that gives me a little bit more on the history. And uh, yeah, kind of interesting. But I'll, uh, I'll, I'll tell more and show some of the pictures because they're kind of cool. Just some of the castral and some of the books. The books were incredible. These big, huge big huge ledgers from 1811 beautiful writing okay oh all right until then abieto oh my god you guys <laughs> i came down to do a last load of laundry and there's literally poop all over the floor and i think there is a downspout that maybe lost its cap uh, oh my god, it smells so bad. Oh, this is so gross. Uh, oh my god. Okay, well, love that I'm dealing with this on my very last day. Woohoo! I don't even know where to begin. 
Okay, à bientôt. I am back at the scene of the crime. It's been 24 hours. I've had the door open. I spent an hour and a half with a power washer cleaning the floors. And I wanted to show you the culprit that allowed my very own poop to explode right out of this. It just slides right off like nothing. Voila. It doesn't screw in. It's not glued. So I guess I just had a very large bowel movement yesterday. <laughs> and it just uh, was enough to pop that right off and explode all over the floor. It was really gross. So the glamours of shadow life. A bientôt. So, welcome to this week's vlog. I uh, got a lot done because I'm having to leave this week, which is killing me. But, um, nah. welcome to this week's vlog. It's been a big week. Lots of ha lots has happened. Welcome to this week's vlog. This week's vlog. <laughs> Welcome to this week's vlog. It's taken me a while to say that, but um, things have been washed and it doesn't stink down here. I've had the door open for a full 24 hours now. Oh, there I am cutting my head off again. Okay, this is a dumb video. Bah.